This episode of Nerds New Sexy Entertainment Podcast is sponsored by Magic Mind. What is up, you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. Welcome to Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode 162, season 9. We're back, baby. We're back. And on top of that, I'm joined by two two of my crew members, two of my valued compadres. Grizzly McBee here. What's up, y'all? Monster 74. What's up? So uh, today's topic is going to be, we we're, we we're talking, we we're talking about doing um, Lethal Company, but I don't think Monster's played enough yet. To get a, yeah. a, a good, I haven't died enough on it yet. Me and Grizzly <laughs> had had played quite a bit, but th- that's not the topic today. The to- topic today is you can see in the background, Alien a Fire Team Elite, and we've been we've been streaming that on the YouTube channel. Yes, we uh, have off and on for a bit, and we're I think we're close to beating it actually at this point. I think we got like one more mission to do. We're, we're just waiting for Grizz. Oh yeah, under oh, the bus. So- Sorry, when when you've got a significant other that has to be up at early hours of the morning and you don't get home till late, it makes it a little difficult. Sleep on the couch, nerd shit. <laughs> so yeah, so it, you know we started this game, and the game itself is a really it's got a really good style of gameplay. Um, yeah. I I remember hearing about it, and I also remember hearing like a little bit and then nothing and then nothing there's a lot of negativity to this and i don't under like playing it because i've been wanting to play it for a while right like you know we mm-hmm. it was free on the playstation and that's the whole reason we got it um it's been on my play my my buy list since it came out and uh i'm glad it was free on playstation because we finally get to play it and it's we all played it together and it's it's, it's been a pretty good experience oh, i love I, the game it's I great like it. yeah when we can all get into the uh, same lobby, it's it's fantastic. <laughs> Wild and I tried tried playing a little bit because uh, Monster had played a little bit on his own one day. Um, so we tried playing a little bit okay. and could not, for the life of us, figure out how to join the same damn lobby. We're and, like, how did Monster uh, do it? <laughs> then we decided to play something else. Finally got in a session with Monster, and he goes, no, no, you just got to click right here, and it'll join automatically. The one thing we didn't even try doing, <laughs> you just got to be smarter than uh, than what you're working with. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it, honestly, think of it this way. The way games are nowadays, you can just you can just click a button and join people. Join. It's an automatically joining. And this one's like, you got to go to a certain window to do it, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. But, I mean, who are we to know that? Yeah. You know? I mean, we didn't just almost beat the game already. Yeah. The time you guys tried Very to play true. together. Yeah, me, me, and me and Monster played a little bit uh, because you were available that day for whatever reasons you mentioned. I even played on my own, like one or two matches. Yeah, and we so we did we did that a little bit, and we got a little further, and so we, we the week after when you could join us, we we kind of caught you up on us, and yeah. uh, it, it I like the game, the combat rating aspect of it, were like. It shows how strong your character is with numbers. Um, that's a good aspect. Like the fact that it's almost it, it it's very RPG esque in some ways. Take out the level like the skill, skill mm-hmm. uh, like skill trees and stuff like that. You, There's no such thing. You can level up your you can level up your 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 uh, your kits and stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. it's very cool in that aspect. And of of course, like I mean, I grew up very with aliens. Simple. I grew up with I grew up with like Alien the movie and Aliens and and mm. of course who doesn't like a good uh, a good Colonial Marine when we played we all kind of picked our own character and mm-hmm. I and we tried to avoid whoever picked whatever and I think I picked I picked a technician that was the guy I ended up choosing I like mm-hmm. the idea of having a, a a gun turret that I can put down and help save our ass with it uh, I ended up choosing the guy with a it's like a smart machine gun. Um, and as a secondary, it's a, a shotgun. Yeah, but what, you remember what the name of it was? Lancer. Lancer, Lancer, that one, yeah. It's cool because each character has its own, like, sub, like, attack pattern or whatever you can set up. I chose the Demolisher. Uh, I liked having the smart gun and then having the backup rifle and then the rockets. 
I get to shoot rockets out of, out of off of my back. Explosions are always fun. Mm-hmm. Um, the game, like as far as the story goes, it even kind of ties in with like a Prometheus. The story is it's it's pretty cool. You can see there's a, some of the levels you go deeper into these caverns and you go to like you can see that like giant spaceship. Mm-hmm. Helm thing from the first move mm-hmm. from the first alien movie where they found all the the eggs and stuff. A lot of good things, a lot of good throwbacks. I remember, I remember freaking when we first started playing, uh, Grizz would go way ahead of us, <laughs> way ahead of us. I'd be like, Hey, Grizz, maybe you want to come back? You're pulling a monster, yeah, he's pulling a monster, and uh, we hear him go, ah, yeah. Help the what is it, the, the drop, the guys that drop down on you. Oh yeah, the ones yeah, that hold you down every freaking time. The game, I would say it's like Left for Dead with aliens, more yeah. or less. Um, yeah, just uh, without the uh, it has random uh, like elites, but they're not like hard to deal with. They're not. They're easy. They're not overpowered. Yeah. Like in other games. Some of them. Well, yeah. some of them can be the bigger ones. Like yeah. the Pred Alien can be a pain in the ass, but like. What's that? What's that game I streamed? You're talking about Back for Blood. Back for Blood. There's some of those fucking monsters in there that they're too powerful for for the game. Yeah, some I of those. Think. But even even Left for Dead, if you think about it, you got that. You got the tank in Left for Dead that's pretty fucking yeah. powerful and crazy. Um, I think I don't know. I I the the normal aliens I don't think get as much uh, as much credit as they deserve. They're supposed to be like mm. the ultimate predator the ultimate uh the ultimate life form more or less and they're just more like more or less like yeah they're 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 just basic bitches of the game uh mm. honestly in real life if they're just bodies yeah they're just they're just yeah. it's just uh how many things can they throw at you at once hundreds and hundreds of bodies and maybe that's why the game didn't get that much of a uh of a following uh why it didn't get so much praise honestly i like it can come Comparing to like, like other it. games, I'd play that over like Back it. for Blood. Oh yeah, because Back for Blood kind of sucked. Well, yeah. Back for Blood was fun with friends for a short time. For a short, very short time. Um, yeah, it's not like Left for Dead when we played. I don't know how long, hours upon hours. Mm-hmm. Upon hours. But uh, this game, this game, I don't know. Is there what? There's what four campaigns? It, it like I said, it was free on PlayStation Network for a little bit, and we're we were definitely ju- we definitely <laughs> jumped on that we were looking for another game to play and as about the time monster finished uh streaming uh legend of dragon yeah and he beat it one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorite games by the way they need to make a remake of that i just want to put that out there yeah well you you and a hundred other people are saying that trust me not like the final fantasy sevens because i don't want it in like six different games i just want one game, right? Don't don't make Legend of Dragoon redone, redo, re <laughs> re masturbated. None of that. None of that it's shit. Great. It was great how it was. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. Yes. Reimagined. Re nipple clamped. See, and it's funny because when it was free on PlayStation Plus, um, for those of you that watched the last podcast, uh, you'll know that I now have a gaming PC. Um. Yeah. Since I got the gaming PC, I had not turned my PlayStation on, not one time. So that was probably well. Since you, other than playing with us with this game, well, no, no, no. I'm I'm saying when it was free on PlayStation Plus, that was the first time I turned my PlayStation on since oh, I got yeah. since I got my gaming PC. I see. In a very long time. The first uh, campaign is like you're basically the first few for first few missions. You're looking for like a doctor. And it starts off really, it has a very good alien feel to it. You know, you're looking and everything's kind of quiet. And then you at one point an alien's like on the corner. And, uh, and then I don't know, it's at one point from there, there from one point to another, like they just start throwing aliens at you and it's fun. And then all over the, all over the place. And then they're, they're just throwing randoms, random big guys at you. And it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's fun. It is a fun game. Um, there are certain missions like the one of my favorite ones. I think this is on the first campaign, uh, where we're where you're waiting for that that elevator, 
that's very yes. that's very aliens like the second movie yeah it feels a lot like that where you're waiting for that elevator to come and they're and the aliens are coming from like all different directions all directions yeah and uh you gotta defend that yeah and if you don't know what you're doing it's scary then like once you figure out okay we can defend this you learn that you learn to like stack up on those tur those those uh yep. those turrets you can put those bitches down and then you're you're more or less good those little sentries, yeah. Mm -hmm. We like to we like to put down um, all the different mines. All the different get. mines that we get. There's like the incendiary, the frost, the the poison one. Yeah, and then just the regular um, anti personnel mines. And... I got a shit ton of those in my on my character. I have like fifteen on each. Every time I play, I have more than like ten. You just put those down, and it, they work, man. They help out. Anything that anything that can kill an alien, kill a bug. But the game itself is really fun. Uh, yeah. It's got a lot of. It's got a lot of. I don't really see anything bad about it, other than the fact that they I kind do. of downplay. Oh, whoa! What do we got? I do. The music. Oh God! I forgot about the music. Oh, the music is the only thing I have. To say Let's talk that. about the musical score for a second. The music is bad. It's bad. <laughs> um. It's like okay, there's certain points in the game where the music is just spot on, like it's perfect. Yeah. And then they try and do this thing where where you're fighting aliens and they try and make it scary sounding and and it it sounds like and of course it's supposed to sound like an 80s horror track, but yeah. you got this flute going <laughs> and you can't take it. <laughs> you can't take it seriously. The first time we heard that, we went are we getting attacked by fairies or, or what, what's the deal? Motherfucker. The Pied Piper. The Pied Piper. And you just like, and then, and then we just kept hearing it. I, there's moments where we're, we're fighting aliens and I just like, I can't take this seriously. And uh, yeah, that was act that, that I forgot about that monster. I'm glad you brought that up. That was, uh, uh, that's very cringy. It's, it kind of, it kind of takes you out of the environment. That and, uh, well, not enough to do in the staging area. Yeah, yeah, the money. Stuff. The money to buy stuff is... The, you're talking about the yeah, the, the fact that you don't get credits easy enough. Yeah. That makes sense. So you don't get all the guns. It takes a lot of grinding. The staging area is cool for the simple fact that you, you, you got to look around for, like, hidden hidden information, like mm -hmm. uh, like lore and stuff like that. And you got to do that in, in the game, in the actual levels, too. Uh, when we first beat the first few campaigns, we went back and was like, "Okay, let's find this and this and this. Let's find the the stashes and the caches and the and the 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 information." And then, of course, you got to go and talk to the guys and get the information, which is funny because we don't even like pay attention to that. We just get it to get it. I do. I, you do? I do. Oh, okay. I just I don't pay attention to it. I get it just to get it. I just zoom past it. Like Fishiness. I should pay attention to it because I love the lore, but eh. You can always go back and read it. Yeah, you can. It, it's funny because uh, these guys are all rushing to get to the next stage, and I'm talking to the guys, you know, figuring out what's going on. And I hear one of them, I don't remember which one it was, go, I wonder what the next stage is going to be like. And right then the NPC that I'm talking to goes, yeah, the next location is the Hive Queen. And I was like, oh, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, honestly, I was wondering if there's going to be a um any type of face hugger in this game. And then finally on the third campaign, yep. we They're started, <laughs> we started getting them. Yeah. <laughs> That's our thing. Like we see an egg, we're like, kill the egg, kill the egg. First thing, <laughs> kill it first. It's got, it's got a good, it's got a good feel to it. The game does. It's just, uh, yes. I think I agree with monster when it comes to the music, the music's kind of stupid to say, to say the least. Yes. In some parts. In some, in some parts. Yes. Because the music makes the feel of the game, right? Yeah. They, they could have done a lot more with, with the score of the game yeah. and the different levels. And... Grizz, you got, you got a good point there. Like, it feels like, I was there maybe like three three um, different maps per per campaign? Yeah. And it's the same music for every single one of them. Yeah. It just feels like... The same, same, like, five tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say this, they do change up the levels a little bit. Like there's one mm -hmm. time we went through and there was just xenomorphs everywhere. And then we went back and then, and tried it again. It's all, yeah, and it's all, it's all, it's all like the robot guys. Yeah. The cyborgs or whatever. Or, or uh, the one time we went through and it didn't, 
and then there was like no obstacles nothing and the next time there was mines yeah everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. so it's it's cool in that aspect because the replay value is there you know you you mm-hmm. want to you want to play it and play it again and again hell even i've played it a few times on a different character on a different um Kit. Yeah, when when we played a little bit, mm-hmm. finally figured it out. Yeah, just uh, just to uh, just to play it, you know, just to because it is a fun game. It really is. Like I said in the beginning of the podcast, I don't understand why uh, people kind of shat on it. It's a good game because it's not super true to the Alien franchise. Grizzly, could you look up some some negative reviews on that? Yep, I got you. Well, on Steam, we got a nine out of ten. IG and it got seven out of ten. Hmm. Okay, so I got one. Okay. So Aliens Fire Team Elite feels like a generic loot shooter that doesn't manage to capture all at all the look and feel of Aliens franchise. Instead, we are left with a boring, repetitive, and buggy game. Was Aliens it buggy? Elite does a lot right when it comes to the core gameplay experience, but lacks in its narrative. Was it buggy though? I mean, maybe when it first came out. Some parts, yeah. I've majority, I've had the game crash on me solo before. Uh, a majority of what I'm saying is um, people saying the only way to get have a good experience with the game is to have good team members, and then others complaining about um, there's just not a whole lot of content to it, which. I mean, that, in a sense, I I can I can see that. That's true. I can be on. I can get on that team. Yeah, then, but it's it's a good it's a good like jump on with the boys for a couple of rounds type of. Thing. Oh yeah, it's a bro gamer experience. And then there's there's this one. Uh, this game is simplistic. A lesser copy of games like World War, a zombie corridor shooter, but with aliens instead of zombies. Except for Mission Three Three, where actual zombies show up. That's also, true. The last procedural level generation or an AI director like is standard to the to the genre. It's not terrible. Its main problem is a complete lack of players due to the terrible matchmaking at launch. Ninety percent of players left within the first few months because it was too hard to find games. Hmm. Basically none of them have come back. Uh, okay. If well, I guess we're lucky because we're just friends playing, so yeah. I can see if, that. If you bought it at launch, you would have gotten a few weeks' worth of play out of it. If you buy it now, you will struggle to find humans to play with, and the AI aren't good enough for Ooh. anything but okay. casual and standard difficulty. Okay, that that is another complaint I got to put in. Yes, the AI... We forgot, all of, we forgot about that. I, uh, the AI is atrocious. Like... Data, where are you going? Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> just appears right behind you because it because they're like five fucking screens behind you. I gotta oh, agree. Where's the shit? I forgot about that too. Yeah, they just sit there and like eat bullets. That's it. And then you just keep hearing you hear them say like uh, fixing, uh, repairing, or whatever they say when they're healing. Yeah. Even if they got like maybe. A little bit of they got a lot of life left. They still just repair themselves. They waste it. The game itself is a good um good experience. Like I said, we haven't completely completed it yet. We're waiting to do that on stream. I want to see. I, I'm excited to beat it and see what the 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 end game is gonna be like. I mean, I, that's another thing. We've seen Praetorian, Praetorians. Is that what they're called? Yeah. So I, we don't we don't see oh, yeah. predators, but we know that they exist because Praetorians yeah. are there. And then we know that they exist. Uh, they existed, or maybe visited that planet. I'm sh- maybe that's in a part yeah, of the lore. Or another. Maybe that's a part of the lore we didn't pick up. Reed. I didn't see anything about it in what I've seen. So. Okay, uh, he is the lore master. Uh, Grizzly is the lore master. Why are you purple, Grizz? What are you talking about? Why were you purple first? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I got I got a black light for work. Oh. Black light. Put away your toy. Does it disappears? <laughs> toys now. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to show some toys out, monster? Oh shit. We're gonna do. Ah, oh, it's not charged. What? <laughs> it's not charged. <laughs> Does it vibrate? <laughs> no. It's my my lightsaber. 
Well, let me show you mine. Oh, that's what we're calling them, huh? Uh, let me show you. I got. I just ordered some online myself. Oh shit! I just got these uh, recently, and those dual, dual, dual quality. And yeah, they do. They do come together. Yes. But uh, I got these online. They're, these are actually like forty bucks, fifty bucks. Is that is that, is that the one that you showed me? Schwing, schwing. Schwing. You know, you guys should totally have a duel. You you have to be fully focused to have something like that, though. You know, speaking of totally focused, uh, let's talk about Magic Mind. You know, yes. this this podcast that happens to be sponsored by Magic Mind, and all three of us have tried this product. It, hell, hell, last week I. Um, for work, I was tired as hell one day. I was tired. As, I was really tired, and I, I tried it, and it actually saved my day. You know what I mean? Like, it's good about keeping you focused. Keep me away from that second energy drink. The ingredients are pretty good. It's got a lot of matcha. It's got a uh, ashw ashwagandha. And you know, I, I have no clue what it was. Mm -hmm. So I looked it up, and it's it's like an Indian ginseng. Huh? It, it's pretty awesome. I mean, because I I take in. Uh, ginseng myself mm -hmm. um, you know because it, it helps with your attention um helps you with focusing on on certain things that you're working on um and it it, it helps with your memory uh, it's got lion's mane mushroom i guess it reduces anxiety which honestly i've been i've been a lot less anxious since drinking this and i'm a very anxious person yeah and lion's mane also helps with inflammation which of inflammation Actually, uh, I have an injury to my right knee. Ever since I started taking it, actually, the inflammation on my knee is almost numb. And nice. I've been having knee pain for years. Seven for years? Sure. Yeah. Seven yeah. Years now. Yeah. For a long time. Since I got hurt. I yeah. mean, that, that just goes to show it works. I, I shared my story last uh, last podcast with with uh, how it helped me at work. Yeah. The, the, day of the year. And that was... Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll still stand by that f forever because that really opened my mind to uh, this product and it doing what it says it will do. A, a lot of products say that they will do one thing mm -hmm. and never do it. This one hints at what it will do and it surpasses. Oh, it, it. follows through. Like, yeah, I, I'm sure we can all we can all understand the feeling of waking up one day and just not going to go to work and just being like, oh, life sucks. I don't want to do this. I, you know, I, I'm like that a lot before I go to work. So one day I took it that you know before I went to, went to work that afternoon and I took it. And I was just hyper focused. Like I I wanted to get everything done. I wanted to get I wanted to do you know. And then I I literally just walked all around work. It also helped me keep keep on track at work. So I manage a group of people and uh help me keep like on track of what they're doing well it, it keeps you focused it's it's, it's yeah focus. as they say the flow state you know you're, yes, you're yes, in this flow yes. state and you're just it's easier to talk it's easier to kind of like uh, articulate what you say and what you mean but only this january our friends here at magic mind can help you crush your 2024 new year's resolutions and stay fully focused you get one month for free when you're subscribing for three months at http www.magicmind.com slash all in caps J A N not in caps N I T N S E and with our code N I T N S E twenty it's an extra twenty percent off which gets you a full seventy five percent off that only lasts until the end of January so hurry up before it all goes away I recommend it oh heck yeah we all do yes we all do. So the, the only gripe that I have about Aliens Fire Team Elite yes. is like the leveling system for your weapons. Yeah. That's a little so, confusing. You know, with, with doing uh, certain missions with the campaigns, you get you get money and credits, um, mm -hmm. and you can buy certain things in the shop, but you can't buy upgrades. Oh, so I, I see what you mean. You just have to grind it. Yeah. You have to grind it. And then sometimes you can find additions to your guns, but a lot of the times we just get like crappy additions. Yeah. Yeah. Additions that we already have. It's R. Yeah. It's a lot of RNG. They have this. Thing. 
they have this thing like the random caches or mm. the secret caches, secret caches, even though they're like out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you got to find them. They're just hidden throughout yeah. the maps. But they're hidden. They're not really hidden. A few of them are. Very few of them are. Yeah. There's a few we had to go off the beaten path, like, not yeah. pretty far for the most part. On to all find. of them, but it's not far. Some of them you just, like, turn a corridor that's just mm. there, and you're like, oh, look. And I wonder if I wonder if they're random. I wonder if they spawn in random different directions. No, no. No? My real gun that I use... Your actual gun? Is the max rank, and it's four stars. Okay, so it's in... What's the rank? It's a star rank. Okay, so the four four, four stars. stars. Four four stars is fully ranked. Yeah. That's and right. And your the person you do have have like eight ranks, mm -hmm. I believe. And then the the you have perks. So the perks, uh, you you get you have core perks and modifiers that make like your abilities and stuff better. Uh, I have mine set up for where. I could blow shit up easier, <laughs> but but yeah, that's just had to check that. Yeah, and it, it, the, what all that does is it brings up your combat uh, rating, like it's almost like how how badass you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, how much how you can much handle. You can take. Yeah, I think we're. I think last time we checked, we were at like five hundred, four hundred something. I can't remember. Five hundred. Yeah. Five hundred something. I think it was like the high end. Like five forty six. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it, yeah, we're we're pretty close to beating the game. I'm excited to see if we fight against like an alien queen, or mm. what are we? What are we gonna That'd be cool? I mean, we're we're seeing eggs, so what do you expect? Yeah, yeah you know? everywhere. Yeah, we just we just been too busy to actually play it, and I've been I've been I've been getting the itch, yeah. guys. I've been wanting to I want to beat this. It's partly my fault, partly well, it's fault. it happens. Like we said in the last podcast, life happens. Things get yeah. in the way. We, I've been I've been moving and stuff like that. Grizz is to a bigger, better place. Grizz is his roommate slash a lady friend. Wink, wink. She you know, works early. She morning works early and morning, and I don't get off till late at night. So yeah, yeah. So, but as far as the game goes, I give it maybe like a seven out of ten. And I'd fun replayability is a, like a five, seven point five. Yeah, yeah. I, I, friends, I would give it a solid seven. Yeah. Solo, solo, like a four. Yeah, you know what? I gotta agree because. It gets it's it's still fun, but it it gets boring quickly. Yes. Yeah. It's um, definitely a team based game. Oh yeah, you know, but like everyone friends. says, like everyone says, most games are fun when you're playing with friends. You know. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. In our case, always fun. When yeah. You're playing with friends. Yeah. And Plus, it's always more fun when we're playing with at least the three of us. Yeah, I mean, when, when we when we had another person that I used to cuss that all the time i was just thinking about her <laughs> i was just she was she was like i, I was remember, i was having flashbacks of gta when you said yeah, i like to blow things up 76. when you said i like to blow things up i was having flashbacks of gta of us trying to do a mission and shit just ran i'm like <laughs> so i i was i was all out 76 yeah i was going through my my photos on on uh facebook and uh showing my lady uh what you guys look like because she keeps asking you know well who are these guys how do you know them tell her to go to youtube so i, I pulled up the photo of uh the the four of us at my place for that new year's party yeah <laughs> and she goes she goes are you guys related <laughs> i'm not surprised yeah. i'm not surprised because yeah. we look similar i mean me and wild are related me yeah, this could be we're distantly related. Well, when yeah, Grizz, you, you put the three of us together, we all look like we could be brothers. When Grizz worked with yeah. me, uh, when we worked together, it, we heard it all the time. Everybody thought that Wild was my younger brother, even though he's older than I am. Yeah, yeah. and we we, they, we just ran with it. They go, "You guys are brothers, huh?" And we're like, N -n 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 "You're yeah. like, yeah." What? Who do you think's the older one? Grizzly. Uh. <laughs> I had to laugh at him because I, I got I got a good I got to get a, a good few years on his ass and I laugh I'd point and laugh at his ass and be like ha ha. Me too. Back then, even at my age, I had more gray than you, and now you have more gray than me. Well, back then I back then I had no gray, and now I'm all gray. So yeah, you know, yeah. except for the top of my head, my beard is completely gray. 
Yeah. I'm uh mine is it mine's a lush red. I'm Captain Greybeard. Yep. You'll get there soon. It's so. gonna start sprinkling in there here and there. It'll be no, salt no. and pepper. It's 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 in here right here. And then it'll be become you can see mine end up here. <laughs> and then it'll become more salt than pepper, and then it'll just be salt. Well, I am just a couple of years younger than Grizz, so that's said and done, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end the podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. We're back, like I said, expect another podcast. Up until baby. up until season every every Sunday every up until season nine is done. We've been here nine seasons. Probably would have been here longer than that if we would have continued the podcast. But you know, shit happens. We had to life gets in the way. Life gets in the way. We're nerd working nerds. So uh, till next week, guys. Till the next podcast. We'll see you. Till then, stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.